Hey guys, welcome back to Masonic Curators, where we are preserving our history, our Masonic history, through the telling of stories of some of the items, the unique things that we've collected over the years as Freemasons. I collect things, I know most of you all collect certain things out there, things that meant something to you, things that you were given, and largely Masons are collectors. One need only look at somebody's lapel pin to figure that one out. Uh, today on the show, I have something that uh, is kind of interesting. Uh, well, I hope all these things are interesting. Uh, this one comes in a, uh, in a matchbox. Now, a few years ago, I began um, a very poor um, execution at trying to whittle uh, of wood. Uh, I had heard little stories about, uh, you know, lodge in a box or whatever, and so I decided to make a matchbox lodge. Uh, we'll break here really quickly so I can show you that video that I took a while back. saw there, um, the only one I have left is this one, and it was the first one I made. It just has a gold uh, square and compass wax seal on it, and inside is a uh, somewhat of a 24 inch gauge, a square, and a level. Uh, now, I whittled those out of balsa wood. It was somewhat difficult to do. It kept splitting on me, which is why I eventually gave it up. It was uh, very difficult to do, but I made them by order. I would trade them for something. And you notice this bow tie around my neck. This bow tie is a cloth bow tie, one of my favorites. Um, and the brother out there who made this, whether it was for me specifically or traded me for it, um, he makes these and he sent me this for one of these. Um, and it was an amazing trade. Um, I think I definitely got out the better uh, end of the deal. Um, but it's meant so much to me. It's just something I've traded. Um, you know, you hear of brothers trading coins or trading pins. Uh, I traded an entire lodge for this really awesome bow tie. Uh, maybe one day I'll pick this back up when I get a little bit better at uh, whittling. But, you know, of course, the idea was to create something just like I had in a previous episode, um, these mini ivory working tools. Of course, you know, instead handmade by myself. Um, I've since looked at uh, maybe doing some 3D printing ones um, and, and making this again. Um, we'll see what the future holds. But anyway... That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe to the videos, and I hope you make your own Masonic Curator video. Get in touch with me. Let's put your story right here on the channel. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll talk to you next time.